Hey, what's up, guys? It's Kev Jane H H One Two Three, and welcome to another app review. This time it's Photoshop Express. You can see the logo. Full font, of course. When we click to load like that, create with select a photo, so you can edit your previous photos you've got in your photo album already, and say keep the old one, and save the new one. And you have some stuff at the bottom like Adobe uh, Online upload settings, etc. So let's take a photo of my hand or my controller like I did. Uh, you get lots of features like I said, you get you get again, you get the light, you get the option option of being forwards. Let's take a picture of that. Oh we put the light on. Alright, so we'll we'll have that. So we'll use that. Alright. So there's quite a lot of features, even in the free version. You can crop, you can crop the side wherever you want, so say you want the square, you can crop that out, cancel. You can shot straighten, like change the picture in actual circle, and it will stay that side. You can rotate a full 90 if you want, but I think the other one's better, the other one. You can flip it, so it's back to front like that you can get exposure drag and you can see it changing as it goes as you can see it's getting darker lighter saturation this is just the thing colour tint you can change the colour wheel at the top black and white it works straight away how do I get rid of that there's no whoops read your button at the bottom if it, if you need to make a mistake and so not black in colour contrast oh my god so it looks no, it looks quite nice actually it looks weird and then there's lots of other stuff to get you know play about with design soft focus sharper and whatever you want and you can also put actual effects, so you can have four mini pictures like that, let's keep that. You can have a border as well, if you want. Let's have that. And there you go. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Then from there, you press the bottom right, and you can either save and exit, save and upload, save and post to Facebook, or save and post to TwitPick. So... So yeah. And you have your other bars at the bottom, or you can edit a photo you've already taken which is a nice nifty idea alright so I give this a hmm I don't know what I should give this wow I've got so many apps there was fucking notifications pissing me off uh, I give it a a, a four and a half oh, I don't know okay based on freeness I'll give it a five because for, for free you get loads of tools like that. It's Photoshop at the end of the day. It's free. There's loads of tools to use. You know, you can upload to Photoshop.com, Facebook Twitter. There's loads of there's loads of settings. All Facebook online. You have your own account. You know, there's all this other stuff. It's fast. There's all updates. So I give it five stars based on the freeness, and I, I recommend you guys definitely 110% go and check it out. It's awesome to edit your pictures, and it's free, so... Alright guys, that's been another app review for the iPhone 4. I'll see you guys in another review.